Dripping water wears a hole through stone. I'm sure you're familiar with this quote, that through persistence, many seemingly impossible things can be done, even if it does take a little time. Except, instead of a drop of water, imagine an entire river wearing down that same stone. And instead, change over multiple decades, the change could happen just like that. This is the situation that Drayton Valley finds itself in, where the reservoir that has supplied the town for decades is suddenly struggling to do so because of volatile water levels within the reservoir itself. This could affect affordable access to water, risk public health, and weaken the economy. To complicate the situation further, the river is expected to have both higher and lower flows, depending on the time of year. Some suspect that human development is the cause, while others think that climate factors are causing the water to wear away at the banks faster, changing water flow patterns. All in all, the town isn't sure why this is happening or what to do about it. So my project was to put on a detective hat, find out what's happening, and determine how the town could reasonably solve this problem. So, what would any Sherlock Holmes appreciating detective do? The first step would be to look for evidence of the problem. This involved digging into climate trends, land use, hydrological data, satellite photos, the works. Turns out that not only has the overall water level in the river been dropping due to warming temperatures, but sediments are also building up and blocking flow into the reservoir. Unfortunately, data shows that the blockage is likely to get worse in the future. Step two using the pieces of evidence to puzzle together a solution. And not just any solution, but one that is viable for adapting to the rapid changes expected in the coming years and within the realm of possibility for a small municipality to enact. After finding various documents, literature reviews, and case studies, I discovered some strategies, such as dredging, where you remove the sediments altogether, that could be effective in maintaining reservoir water levels. Step three, the one they cut out of the story is because no one wants to read about it, the paperwork. I went through both federal and provincial environmental regulations to figure out what factors the town would need to consider for the implementation of each solution. I also found possible funding sources to help support the town for an expensive capital venture. Finally, step four, the big reveal. This involved meeting with the town council, water treatment plant staff, and various other local entities because implementing any of the solutions would require all of them to work together. It was also important to help decision makers understand what was happening and why, along with possible solutions so that they could make the best decisions to rise to the challenge. With my investigation concluded, it was determined that climate change is the culprit for the decreasing water levels in the reservoir. The problem itself is not location specific or even all that rare. So while this project may have been done with Drayton Valley in mind, the trends and solutions found during this project won't change and can be applied to any location that may be faced with the same problem. Hopefully, this project can help municipalities with a similar problem now or in the future be more proactive in looking for solutions or even prevent the problem from happening altogether. Thank you.